What's up? Hi. <laughs> hey, life proof family. My name is Gibi. Jorog here. My name is Brian Kingori. JK Oweru. I'm Rob and uh, yeah, from Nakuru. Welcome back to Life Prob. Yo! Hello guys, welcome to Life Pro. My name is Manu. I'm so happy that you're watching this video today. Wow, guys, you know, uh, it feels nice. By the way, we are on the rest to 1,000 subscribers. Currently, we are at some 800 and something subscribers. But I know we are hitting 1,000 very soon. Yes, and so thank you so much for your support. And I believe you will continue supporting us as we hit past 1,000 as we head to a million. Yeah, we're headed there. Anyway, guys, today, our question for today, we are back on life probe with another question another life probe family question and so this is the question today i talk about sex <laughs> have you ever had a talk about sex with your parents how was it and uh, if yes how has it shaped your life as uh, more so matters sexuality and everything and if no, would you want to have such a talk with them? Yes or no? Yes and no. Okay, according to me, I have never had such a discussion with my parents. I don't remember ever having a conversation about sex with my parents. <laughs> no, I've never had such a talk. Personally, I've never had that talk with my parents. Yes. Number one, why? Because uh, my mom is a trained counselor, especially in HIV and AIDS. He had a joy story for Sana. So, story of sex talk, we had it a long time ago. Uh, and simply, also, the other reason is because Tulukwana had a very close relationship with her. We, are, we had a very close relationship ever uh, growing up. Uh, that is yes and no. How is that so? Well, by the way, how is that so? <laughs> anyway. So I've had these talks, these kinds of talks with my parents, but not in a way of, hey, sit down, little lady, <laughs> we want to talk to you about sex. Nah, it's the kind that, you know, like, you sit down, you know, those times when you start becoming a teenager and you start, you know, coming home late and all this stuff, you know. And then my parents sit me down and tell me, you know, as we do not have grace to carry kids anymore and all those kinds of stuff. No. I think the ball was passed to the church and uh, what I got from the church was and it's what is there you know I most most people have, have experienced this they tell you don't do sex before marriage no premarital sex and what that did to me it allowed culture and people to define sex you know let me say no because the talk that i've had with them i'm the one who instigated the talk i believe i hope that it's correct english i'm the one who went to them with a the question actually it was a certain time just before we went to sleep and so i just told them oh dad mom before we go sleeping uh, like i had to prepare maybe i think i prepared a month earlier before i asked that question yeah and so i asked them uh, by the before we go sleep uh, maybe What's your take on this? And so I asked them, a, I can't recall the question, but I remember I asked, I asked them a question concerning sex. So this typical African parent. So uh, I think it's important for parents to have this talk with their children because um, nowadays kuna internet which has typically everything, everything you can look for, anything and everything. So. Um, it's important for children to hear this first from their parents, then maybe later from the internet. And it was it was life changing. I won't lie to you. It has ilinipatia some pointers in making decisions. Uh, yeah. And would I have would I have the same talk with my kids? Definitely. So don't don't have sex. Don't have kids. You know those kinds of stuff. So. Yes, we've talked about them, and no, because we didn't really talk about them. You know, it was like, don't do it because we do not want to have kids. That is that. So yes, and the next answer was, would you prefer talking about um, the next question? I mean, talking about it with them, and yes, I would. 
you see the, the thing about talking about these kinds of things with your parents make you get you know learn fast from them because as kids the first thing we want to do is actually learn stuff from our parents you know like from their mouth from their mind before we are released to the outside world and then we found we find out that yo people are having sex out here and they told me yo you know this is what you're supposed to do and so they answered my question but now them coming to me and telling me my son sit down here i want to talk to you i want to tell you something you know this uh, things this this how it's supposed to be is how it's not supposed to be these are the do's these are the don'ts we have never had such a talk i was someone who I, I i had an idea what the bible said but i didn't really know how to go about it and so i did a lot of research i approached so many people people who are true some pastors who removed the the pastoral uh, cloth and they were truth and they talked to me like you know how young people is out you know the truth the the real truth they call it truth but i would love to have one discussion like that with my parents but okay obviously i would love to have one so that i can be able to understand their perspective concerning sex and um, i would like also them to understand my perspective concerning sex and also all the same i would love to hear their reaction how they're going to react in my perspective because you don't understand that this is africa and uh, parents are like obviously guy manze matters concerning sex they are not topics that are highly appreciated in africa but you can understand obviously like me, me like okay obviously i can say other countries like you know usa and other stuffs it's an appreciated topic so that you can be able to understand your parents i mean your 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 opinions concerning those things with your parents it, it was just in a certain way they talk about it uh, like talking about uh, being pregnant kudanganya na vijana but not really going deep into it but i think actually for me my plea and my actually what i think is that parents you need to have this talk with your children because if you don't tell them the world will tell them i don't know how to handle it i don't know how to be in a relationship and still say no to sex because maybe my guardian didn't talk to me about that okay so i prefer yes as parents parents should be out here talking about this real stuff like sex because they happen you know talk to talk to your kids about them and tell them this is real tell them if it's good or bad tell them talk to them sincerely as a parent because you know one time the kids will be out and yeah so you just prepare them from the world because something about the world is that it teaches your kids you know and maybe not the way you want to teach them because out here the things that keep us going are actually the things that our parents or our guardians taught us so yes i would want to have those talks no, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot about I know I know a lot about it but well I think it's a good idea for parents to like uh, talk about it with their children yeah. obviously we are the new generation we need to come up with these things we need to understand these things and we need to tell our parents these things and they and we also have to hear from them so that we can be able to understand which is the right way the earlier the better um real talk venye tu kuko black and white speak and span karoboy na 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 steamer karoboy na steamer sharubati sharubati na masharubu ulimi na meno mawe na chuma maji na uji udi na uvumba dj fro na jason statham <laughs> to tell me that so you're going out you're going to university or you're going to high school or you're going to this place so this is what happens in such types of places and sex is this and that sex is for married people i want them to i want my parents to talk to me about it so that the world will not talk to me otherwise because if the world then comes when they have already talked to me about it they'll be like nah daddy says no daddy says wait right now for you as parents and also we are going to become parents very soon as young parents even for those of us who are watching and our youths we are going to become parents very soon and so we are the ones to speak to our children about this talk about sex because the parents right now as parents the ball is in your court before it's in their stomach
The ball is in your coat before it's in their stomach. I mean, um, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind at all. But I think I'm in, I'm in a stage of life where I've already known and I've already took my stand. You know. So it won't change anything because I already know what I want. But yeah, I wouldn't mind. If they would want to, I wouldn't mind. But If you're not subscribed, if you're just watching for fun, well and good, but you need to subscribe because if you're not subscribing, you're doing the wrong thing. Actually, you're not doing anything and that's wrong. Please subscribe. Just subscribe right now. Right now. Okay, just, just subscribe. Subscribe. Just subscribe. Why are you not subscribe? Just subscribe, please. Thank you. And so thank you so much guys for watching this video. Remember to subscribe down below. <laughs> subscribe, hit that notification bell. Remember we get to post a video every Tuesday and uh, Tuesday is our official day. The other days we, the other days are, you know. And tell me down below, would you have such a talk with your parents? Have you ever had such a talk? And if no, would you want to have such a talk? And if yes, how has it shaped your life concerning sexuality? Yeah. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.